Hello guys, welcome back to another Boom Age video. Today I'm going to be talking about what makes a good anti hammerman base design. Okay, so I'm going to be giving my base design out, and my base design has worked super, super well, guys. So every single time Hammerman has attacked me, I have successfully defended him, and I have no ice statues, and I think that's a big issue, guys. Like, a lot of people, after their first attack, they'll, like, boost up ice statues if they fail, and I want to tell you this, guys. So ever since after the very first Hammerman attacks you came out, I have been winning first try without any ice statue so i've just been doing very very well and um my base design is super well i tried to make it so it's it's not very good against uh player player attacks and i think that's a big issue like a lot of people want to make a good player base also but when you're attacking hammerman you want to beat him you don't want to fail because he'll give you some awesome prototype modules so if when you're attacking it when he's attacking you you need to defend him and i think if you want to change up your base design after that i don't do it personally because it takes a long time but i think that it's it's not worth it to switch back i mean so every like six days you have to switch back again and then switch it back after hammerman's done anyway guys let's look at my base and I'm going to be going over points at why this base makes an awesome base design. First of all, you don't need these Shock Blaster Freeze. These just help me against player base, player attacks. Um, you don't need those. Those haven't helped. I haven't, I haven't, uh, I only had one last time and that barely helped. I mean, it helped a little, but it's not like something that's going to make a huge, huge difference. Okay, so, what makes my base design so good that it's able to defeat Hammerman? First of all, every, every Hammerman attack is different, guys, so we're always going to be different troops, but you still need the basic base design. You, the goal is to take out each layer of troops before the next layer of troops come in. So you want your mines kind of scattered in your front quad. So when I say front quad, you want them like in front of your HQ, because to get to the HQ, then you run for all your mines, and that helps a ton against warriors. So mortars aren't too big of an issue on my base, guys. Mortars aren't too big of an issue against Hammerman. They won't do too much, but I put a couple mortars up at front, and that's gonna maybe take out a wave of Zookas when the Zookas come in. If the warriors or something at the very beginning is not taking anything out. Again, you want some, you want like a machine gun up at front, or at least one machine gun. Maybe put a flame. Maybe put a couple machine guns. I have two here, or then I have one flame. That's gonna help destroy warriors if warriors is the first wave. Okay, now we're looking in our back, guys. You want your boom cannons. You want one boom cannon up front to help take out the first waves, place one boom cannon behind the HQ. And what that does is, if there's a huge wave of grenadiers or heavies that come up, those boom cannons will be able to take them out. Okay, next, you want all your rocket launchers and shock launchers if you have them behind your HQ. What that's going to do is, your the other the hammerman won't be able to take out these. So, like, this rocket launcher is impossible for Hammerman to take out unless he has grenaders. Because to get to it, he either needs flares, which he doesn't have, or he needs, um, artillery, or something, which he doesn't have. So, grenadiers can take it out, but by the time they latch onto him and take it out, if they have enough time, the rocket launcher itself is going to take it out. So, again, you want shock launchers, rocket launchers behind the HQ, and that's going to make a good defensive. So basically everything else you just want to kind of put scattered through here and all your other buildings, all your updated buildings or all your uh, resource buildings, offensive buildings, I just like place in mind behind here. Um, no player attacks have been like two taking out bows. Maybe sometime a guy will place two artillery here. But overall, this has been a pretty good play base against players. Granted, I've never won a player defense in so long, but I don't think it's possible at my level to win it unless I have ice statues. Um, what else? So I think that basically covered my base. And the way I see it is how to make an anti hammerman base is there's really only two things that you need. You need to have your boom cannons behind the HQ, a couple boom cannons behind the HQ, and your rocket launchers and shock launchers behind the HQ. Now I've seen a base design where it's like everything is like in a line, so we have to go in a line to get there. Personally, I don't see the point in that because the goal of Hammerman is to take out each layer before the next layer comes in. If your base is like all in a line, they'll go through the line up, but when they're going up, only a couple defenses are hitting them at the same time. The way I have my base design laid out is almost every single defensive building is hitting the HQ, or it's pretty close to the HQ. So I think that's a big, big helpful tip for you guys. 
is you you don't want to have your balloons close together in order to beat Hammerman. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. If you liked the video, be sure to leave a like. If you are new to the channel, be sure to subscribe. Until then, I'll see you guys next time. Bye.